Um, from humble beginnings can come great things. Uh, our impact business of the year is living proof of that. This story is that of the American dream, of achievement through hard work, persistence in the face of catastrophe, and selflessness despite success. This award goes to a company built on small town values and big aspirations. It's about setting goals and achieving them, and then helping others to set and achieve their goals. Every time this individual was told something couldn't be done, the dream was pursued anyway. In continuing to prove the naysayers wrong, this individual worked to create prosperity where there is poverty, beauty where there is blight, and hope where there are heavy hearts. The global economic downturn has affected us all, and our recipients' industry was affected more than any other. But through hard work, educating the company's workforce, and pulling together, this team actually had its most profitable year ever. Its culture is based on attracting and retaining quality people who are diligent, honest, and committed to serving their customers and the community in which they live. Above all, having an understanding that no matter your background, no matter your circumstances, trials, tribulations, everyone needs a place to call home. And home is where you'll find the 2010 Business of the Year now and for many years to come. Let me be the first to congratulate our 2010 Impact Business of the Year, Remax New Heights Realty. I'm the biggest crybaby in the world. <laughs> it's growing up with six sisters and a single mom. They punished me. There'd be times when I was crying, I didn't even know why I was crying. <sighs> but uh, I want to thank my wife, you know, first and foremost, because she's just the most amazing person that I could have ever found in my life. And um, behind every good man is a great woman. And uh, Tina Vidalis, you know, she's a wonderful woman. And, She's given me the most beautiful life, the most beautiful children that I've, I could have never dreamed of. And that's what's important. So thank you, Tina. OK, let me get myself together here. My, uh, I just want to thank the Greater Phoenix Chamber of Commerce uh, for acknowledging um, all the hard work. You know, growing up, being born and raised in South Phoenix, you know, it's always been a fight. Um, you know, from the day that I was born, you know, until today, I'm still fighting. Um, but it's nice to be acknowledged, and, and, and um, I, this is a dream come true, really. I never thought I could be here, and uh, that's why I chose my name, uh, Remax New Heights Realty. Uh, that New Heights is, uh, I think all of us are all called to greatness, and we're all called to do uh, great things in this world, to leave a legacy, um, not for ourselves, but for our children and for the people after us. And um, I hope to do that for not only my community of South Phoenix, but uh, the whole city of Phoenix and the state of Arizona. I want to thank Bill Morris over there with that hat. Um, Bill, you guys can see him. That's his signature. Um, the best thing about having someone like Bill is that um, you, know, you can be a great visionary, but having somebody there to stick with you and pick up all the pieces and organize it, that's a hard job to do. And, um, you know, I appreciate Bill because when I started Remax New Heights Realty, it was just, uh, actually, I had four tenants in the back of a building, and I said, I'm going to start this great company here, and he believed in me. And uh, thank you, Bill, for, for believing me, and thank you and all your family for all the long, hard nights and all the long, hard days. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> and uh, to my three sisters over there that uh, they don't know how much of an inspiration they are to me, you know, they helped me. Um, I refuse to fail because of them. 
Um, I'm always there for them, and I have been ever since I was a kid, and uh, I'm always going to be there for them. And, uh, so I want to thank them. My chief operating officer is uh, Jenny Garcia, my sister, um, you know, my chief financial officer, my wife, my sister Felicia, who does all of our invoicing for all of our large vendors, and Darlene Vidalis, who's our, our receptionist. Um, it's nice to have created something and to have bring my family with me. So thank all of you. I appreciate it very much. Um, God bless you all, and uh, God bless this great country of ours, because it is great. Thank you. It was overwhelming you know, to be here five years after opening our business, especially as difficult as the last three years have been. It's been very tough. As you know, you know real estate in Arizona, it's probably the worst job to have. But uh, I've been blessed with good people and a great wife. And uh, to have this happen, it, it did overwhelm me. And, and to be the first Latino company, in the 23-year 23-year history uh, is amazing to me that you know we're doing it and, and we're doing it well. So. My town is you know my city. I have a great vision for it. You know it's uh, I believe one of the greatest places to live in all of Phoenix and all of Arizona. Uh, between the sevens, uh, SoFo as I call it, abbreviated for South Phoenix, is uh, it's a wonderful place to live. You know it's uh, where cel diversity is celebrated. You know we got the South Mountain. Uh, Pres preservation in the Rio Salado uh, habitat there and Autobahn, it's, it's amazing. It's a great place to live and it's a great place to raise children. If I can do it, anybody can do it and I, I think I'm living proof that you know you don't have to come from you know these uh, great families or great uh, beginnings but that you know you can have humble beginnings, work hard, learn every day and, and do your best and only you hold yourself from being great and uh, so I hope I hope release or help other people to see that they can be find that greatness within them.